Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to make the planter that I made and had visioned for the planter stand that I made the other day in that video. I told you I didn't have a lot of patience, so yeah, it had to move up on the list. We are not going to use all of these items, but I did want to kind of take you through the process of deciding how to design it. I had the basic design in my head, but I did want to play around with some other things to see if I came up with something I liked better. So first, I knew that I wanted to make a little block on the bottom. So I bought this at the Dollar Tree, and my intent was to put that on the bottom, and then kind of leave that little panda bear and pineapple hidden, and then I would like be amused every time I saw it, because I'd know there was pineapple and a panda bear underneath it. And of course, that's the candlestick holder that we've all used a million times from Dollar Tree. And then just a regular planter. Again, Dollar Tree. So all in all, this urn-looking planter that I made cost $3. Not including the paint, so, you know, $3.12, something like that. <laughs> so I tried this glass votive holder. Was not crazy about that thought, what if I stacked it on top of the blocks? Hmm, not crazy about that either. But like I've said before, it doesn't cost extra just to try all these different options because you may hit on something that you like better. And that was a candlestick holder I had glued to a candle plate, I guess they call it, a long time ago. And I thought, well, let's try that. But then it doesn't give that urn effect, which is what I was really going for. And then this was another little piece from Dollar Tree. Mm, wasn't crazy about that either. That one was just way too tall. I really was going for a particular look to kind of make it look like an urn, like you normally see out by gardens or pools or porches, something like that. Now this little piece came from Michael's. And I got it on clearance. It's regularly, I think it was 99 cents. I got it for 50 cents or maybe even a quarter. And when I put the little lid from that Dollar Tree box on top, I loved it. See, that's why we play around with things so that if we find something we like better. But this was the exact look I wanted. So now I'm just going to paint everything. And if you haven't seen the planter stand that this is going to go on top of, then I'll link that video in the description box. And at the end, there will be a card you can hit to go to it. But like I said, I, I had to re-edit that one and take out a lot of the painting because I just left in so much painting. So this time, I tried to pay attention in the first edit to determine not too much painting. But I did use the Dollar Tree Car Wash Sponge which is my favorite sponge to use to paint. And this is the Waverly Chalk Paint in ink. I think the best place to get that is at Walmart. And this little box lid, it has an owl. And it's kind of, it's etched around, but you don't see it too much once I put the chalk paint on. You still have the little dots, but they're going to be covered up by the candlestick holder. And I heard somewhere that if you sand, or I'll probably watch the video, that if you sand the glass, then it'll give it a little better grip on the paint. I don't know. We'll see. It did seem to work okay, but I'm not sure if chalk paint really needs it. But if you do sand it, be sure and wipe it down. Now, ultimately... I'll paint everything, and then I come back and do a stippling effect. I, I've always called it stippling, where you just kind of use the sponge and sponge it on. But when I looked up stippling, because I didn't want to use the wrong word, it says that's really when you use dots to create an image or a design. So technically, it's not stippling, but I think I've heard it used that way before, so... Hopefully you get what I'm talking about. You just use the sponge and kind of sponge, sponge, sponge and pounce on it. Maybe pouncing. Maybe that's the right word. I like stippling better though. <laughs> but it clearly is not stippling. It's pouncing. 
and this would be a great time to say thank you thank you thank you for watching and thank you all for subscribing i cannot believe how fast the channel is growing and we're over a thousand now in subscribers and literally three weeks ago i was at 14 subscribers it just blows my mind so thank you thank you thank you and here's where i kind of stipple it on or pounce it on <laughs> And maybe there's a little too much painting in here, too. But it was fun painting. So, I don't know. Fast forward. No, don't. <laughs> you might miss some great humor or wonderful tips. So, no fast forwards. And at the end, you're going to see how this stippling really did... Oh, pouncing. <laughs> really did give a great effect for it. I was so happy with the way it turned out. And I also put Mod Podge over it. And I did the same effect for that. So I think between the two, it really did give it kind of a, almost an iron look, which is what I was going for. Now it did that on the glass, a little bit on the wood, not so much on the plastic. I think it was a lost cause because it already has that design where it's got the lines going around it. So I stacked it up to make sure I liked it. And I did. Loved it actually. Now we're going to glue it all together. And I used wood glue on the wood pieces. And I used that super glue gel on the glass, attaching it to the wood piece. And I actually, I don't think I got it totally centered, but it adhered so quick that I just, it was good enough. And then I just used the same super glue gel, and that comes from the Dollar Tree. Again, I love that stuff. I, I don't know that I've used it until I used it on that mat when making the plant stand. And I was just amazed. So we just attached the little top to it. And now I'm going to cut the black part of the sponge off. And then use the bottom part, which is clean enough, to do the... Mod Podge on top of it and honestly if there was a little bit of the black it wouldn't matter because it's black and I really love the Dollar Tree sponge hack if you haven't seen that video go watch it um, I'll link that at the end as well and in the description box but I love how fast it covers everything now you'll see I'll do that little pounce effect and I'll show you at the end, it really did, like I said, make a really nice effect on that. And here's the finished product. And you can kind of see there that effect on the glass. And here it is on the plant stand. And I just love the way it turned out. And these are the flowers I wanted to put in it. Just playing off of the black and white. And I will show those pictures of those flowers and tell you where I got them. And these came from Joann's. And these were from Hobby Lobby. And this was like a hanging vine of one of the long garland pieces from Hobby Lobby. And these were a clearance piece from Michael's. I actually got them on the after Christmas sale. They're very glittery and sparkly. I think they're really pretty. But guys, we are at the end. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.